Hi, my name is Matthias Bostrom, and I'm the Director of Product Development at Sensavis. Sensavis produces the 3D Classroom, and we would like to thank you for starting to use this in your teaching. On my desktop, you can see the 3D Classroom icon. If you double-click it, the launcher will appear. In the launcher, you choose how you wish, wish to project the 3D Classroom. If you have a full HD screen or projector, you will use full HD. If you have an HD ready screen or projector, you will use full HD ready. In HD ready and full HD, you can choose with glasses if you have a 3D compatible projector or screen, and without glasses if you want to show it without the stereoscopic 3D. So let's start the program. This is the main menu of the 3D Classroom. Here are the different subjects that we cover. Biology, Geography, Physics, Chemistry, Mathematics, and Engineering. You can also shut down the 3D Classroom from this menu. To choose a subject, you just hold the mouse pointer over it and click on the left mouse button. So, we are inside Biology. I hold the mouse pointer over the cells and click the left button. Here we have the different menus in the, inside the 3D Classroom. The Systems menu up here on the right, the Table of Content down on the right, and the arrows. The arrows are for changing views within a scene. I will get back to that. If I open up the Table of Content, I just click that with the left mouse button, I hold the pointer over animal and plant cell and click that. Here we have an animal cell and a plant cell. I'm going to click on the animal cell. By holding down the left button and moving the mouse, the object will move. So now I'm moving the object, looking at the different parts, and with the scroll wheel, I can zoom in. When I zoom in to the cell, the membrane will open up and I can look inside. We can look inside the mitochondria or we can go inside the, and look at the core of the cell. And here we see chromosomes. And inside of the chromosomes, we see DNA. If I use the view arrow, I will come back to the view before that. If I want to go back to the menu that I was that before I use the system menu and go back to menu. Now I'm going to open up the human body. The human body is divided into systems and each system has a subcategory. So I'm going to choose the lungs. Every organ in the human body starts with an orientation view so you can orient the students where the organ is positioned. You can scroll to zoom in and you can move in all different axes by holding down the left mouse button and move the mouse. If I open up the table of content, there's a lot of scenes inside the lungs. I'm going to open up breathing movements. In breathing movements, we look at the organs that move while we are breathing. We can zoom in and zoom out and turn the body around to look at the different parts. If I open up the systems menu, I can do a lot of changes in this scene. So I can take away the skin and the intestines and I can raise the respiratory rate if I like. By clicking the right uh, mouse button you will close the systems menu. That's really important because if you have the systems menu open you can't interact with the object on the screen. So right click to close the systems menu. Here we can take a look at the diaphragm. Now we are back at the main menu. I click on geography. I choose the earth and the solar system. So here we can see the earth. I open up the table of content and I will choose the sun, earth and moon. So here we see the earth in the universe and the moon. If I open up the systems menu by clicking with the left mouse button, I can change a lot of things. I can take away the moon. 
I can take away the weather and I can change time. So if I increase time, we will see the Earth start spinning much faster. And to change time, you just click on the arrows with the left mouse button, like that. Down here with the view arrows, I can actually do a completely new view. So this is actually all the planets in the solar system. I can push the orbit markers to see the orbits that they surround by the sun. And I can change planet scale because we're not able to see the planets if we don't enlarge them. If I take away the orbit markers and scroll with the scroll wheel, we will come closer. And here we will see the Earth and all the other planets in our solar system. And to go back to the menu, just push systems menu, back to menu, back to the 3D classroom, and here we are at the start. And if I wanna shut down the system, you just push shut down here or up here. So a short recap. It's really easy to navigate in the 3D classroom. You just hold the mouse pointer over what you wanna choose and you click with the left mouse button. In the upper left corner, you have the systems menu. In the systems menu, you can go back to menu, shut down the system and change things in the scene. If there are things that you are able to change. To close the systems menu, you use the right mouse button. Down here is the table of content. That's the different scenes in that subject matter that you can choose. And down here are different views. If you click it, you will get another view. If you click it again, you will get another view again. So that's the, how easy it is to use and navigate in the 3D classroom. If you want more information, please visit our website, the3dclassroom.com. If you go to the bottom of the front page, you will see a couple of links where you can download more material. So you have the product sheet, the manual, the release plan, and the detailed table of content. That's really important stuff for you to look through. And the detailed table of content is something that you can use when you plan your lessons. Thanks for watching and have a good time with the 3D Classroom.